Hey, Luke, you and, uh, and Blackie arrived at the same time. What do you remember about the skinny kid from Western Australia? Uh, no, actually, yeah, I, I'd met Simon before. I was actually the, uh, the footage of draft camp. I went to the same draft camp as him and, you know, remembered his, his skills there and just how he moved. And um, I was actually a ruckman then. I didn't grow much when I got to the club. <laughs> um, but um, so I watched him, uh, obviously watched him get drafted and, and was pretty happy when he was coming because I knew what he could do. But uh, when he got here, um, yeah, I, I just, just realised how competitive he was and, you know, whether it's footy, cricket, darts, drinking, he, you know, every time he does something, he, uh, he just wants to compete. And I, I found that out pretty early when I had to spar with him at, at training and I got in the, the, into the ring with him and my head, I thought we were just doing a bit of, uh, you know, footwork and, and uh, shadow boxing and my head was like a, uh, a speed ball. I can honestly tell you in the 15 years I've played, I never got back in the ring. So thanks, for, thanks buddy. <laughs> Well, Craig, um, Nigel's going to talk about Blackie's vagueness in a minute, but before we do that, um, you were talking yesterday about his dancing skills. Yeah, Blackie can dance. Uh, as soon as he gets those six bourbons in him, he, he gets this motorbike thing going. He starts... Actually, he might stand up and demonstrate it. He starts... He kick-starts it. <laughs> <laughs> he kick-starts it. <laughs> and everywhere you go, after the field, just... <laughs> Everyone's laughing because they've seen it, Blackie. <laughs> Blackie, what's your favourite dance move? Favourite dance move? Oh, I've only got one. Just get the arm going and the leg going, like a bit of a... Can you give us a little, a little demonstration? 